I absolutely love the Dire Straits song Sultans of Swing. Composed in 1977 and released in 1978, it took a while to catch on, but is now generally considered to be one of the all-time classics. If it weren't for YouTube's copyright bots, I would certainly be playing it right now. But one of the things I love about it is how evocative it is. It tells the tale of a small-time jazz band playing in a near-empty pub way on down south London town. Mark Knopfler claims it was inspired by a true story. He himself is the narrator, and the band and the pub really existed. He thought the notion of this bunch of regular blokes calling themselves the Sultans of Swing in an empty, dingy pub was pretty funny. Personally, I find the whole thing very poignant and reminiscent of T.S. Eliot, he said pretentiously. But if there really was a band called the Sultans of Swing, who were they? No one seems to know for sure. In over 40 years, no definitive answer has been given. According to Knopfler, George really was the name of the rhythm guitarist. I've come across a few sources claiming the Sultans were actually the Easy Beats, who did indeed have a guitarist called George, George Young, and a lead guitarist called Harry Vander. Vander and Young did, in fact, work in Britain in the early 70s, but they'd already enjoyed nearly a decade of international success at that point. It seems weird that they'd choose to form a mediocre pub band in South London. So, presumably not literally Vander and Young. All right then, we don't know who they were, but where were they? The scene presented in the song is so evocative that it feels like it must be a real pub. Knopfler identified the pub's location as being Deptford. Let's take him at his word. The band at that time were living on the Crossfield Estate, which sounds like a good place to start. What else do we know? Well, let's take the lyrics at face value, shall we, just for the sake of argument. Apparently, Knopfler ducked into the pub to get out of the rain. Presumably, therefore, it wasn't too close to home. Otherwise, as a penniless musician, he'd have just gone home. The lyrics begin. You get a shiver in the dark. It's raining in the park. But meantime... Now, unless this was made up for the sake of a rhyme, this could be another geographical clue. We're looking for a park. Now, a friend of mine pointed out that meantime could also be a pun. That um, he could in fact be talking about a pub in Greenwich. Which is another interesting geographical clue, and I like it. I think we'll use that one as well. Now, the blog Transpontine suggests the Duke as a possible candidate, which was a music pub in 1977. It's in Deptford, all right. But it's very near the estate, and it's not on its way back from a park. It's possible the park and the proximity clues are purely speculative on my part. Another theory, I've not been able to trace the origin, claims the Royal Albert was the pub. It's not a million miles from the estate, but is far enough that you might duck in out of the rain. What makes this one a little more plausible to me is that it lies between the Crossfield Estate and Fordham Park, which had opened as such in 1975, two years before the song was written. However, to claim this part of London is Greenwich, or indeed Deptford, is the sort of optimism reserved only for a fool or an estate agent. The book Rockin' Around Britain by Pete Frame gives a third location, the White Swan on Blackheath Road. Again, the distance checks out fairly well, and once more it lies on the route between a park and the estate. This time, the park is Greenwich Park. 
you really can't get any more perfect in terms of geography. Or rather, should I say, it lay on that route. It closed in 2009. But it does seem to be the most significant possibility. Was it the White Swan, or was it another pub entirely? I'll let you decide for yourself. For me, though, I like the White Swan. Not just because it fits, but because I think the pub closing down and staying derelict for over a decade is so spiritually in line with the song. And with that, I'll bid you good night. Now it's time to go home. <laughs>